So in the WhatsApp team inbox page, this is where you will receive all the incoming message and you're able to respond here. So let me show you. First of all, if I am sending a message to this number, let's say hi, then you will see it popping up in your Wati page. And this is the message that you, re you receive as a auto reply. So here, you will see that this chat popped up as well. And you will be able to see the incoming message that it is sending out. OK, so I said hi. And for example, oh, I want to ask about the pricing. Then you will be able to see the incoming message as well. And also, the auto reply from the bot as well. So this, I haven't answered manually here in the teaming box. But your, what you'll be able to see here is, first of all, um, the customer sent an incoming message of hi. And there will be a bot reply message for them to select different options. And also have a logo here that I sent out, um, I set in the automation as an auto reply message. And when they type number three for the pricing, I also set an option to send out the PDF for them. So this is essentially what the teaming boss and the automation that can handle for you. And for example, whenever your customer send you a uh, like incoming message, you will be able to see it in the teaming box as well. So other than that, the, one of the key function here is the team collaboration. I am now looking at Crystal, and what you can do here is, if you do not want the board to answer, you would like to take the chat. You can click here. So the green one means that I'm online. So I assign this chat to myself. So you'll be able to see that um, I assigned this chat to myself in this blue box here. And I can basically type anything that I would like to input here to, as an answer. And also, what you can do as an agent, you can send um, attachment, emoji, or like a quick reply that you set up already. That you can select right away here. And then just like simply send it out as a quick reply. So as you can see here, all the reply will have my name next to it. And everyone is accountable, and the data is trackable for the message that's sent from your side. You know when and who replied to this specific client. And also here on the top, you can mark down this chat. What is the, the topic of this chat? For example, if it's a general inquiry, or it's like a shipping, ticketing, or like pricing inquiry, that you can mark down right here. And in the middle, you will see a green circle having a countdown of the 24-hour support session. And you can also submit a ticket status depending on your need. So once you put pending here, for example, you can filter it with different status as well uh, to see which kind of chat that you would like to track as well. And on the right-hand side, you'll be able to see the WhatsApp name here of the client, the WhatsApp phone number, and you can easily add the attribute here. So what you can do, for example, these are the attributes that I add for this number. And you can always add and delete. For example, I would like to add a new attribute um, about, I don't know, like let's say season, for example, um, spring. Then you can add a new attribute right here. And what you can do with this is that you can filter it here. So when you click filter, add new salmon, and then you can simply um, type season contains, and then let's say spring, as we put just now. And this would be the only chat here showing up with this label, with this filter applied. And also lastly, you can put your shareable notes here. So this can be some information that you can share across the team. So um, I think it is like, you know, mostly clear here of the basic function of the teaming box. 
For the next video, we will explain more on the contact page.